What's up, live streamer? It's good to see you. For the first time in this channel's history, I've been hired by a company called Lamar Fitness, who provides an online live exercise program for their viewers. They approached me and wanted to know how they could make their live stream more professional and show elements like designating where the viewer is in their fitness program, along with timers and moving scenes in such a way that would just look more professional for the end viewer. I gave them a call and was able to gain permission to make this video public so that you too can learn about this amazing Move Transition plugin. Let's, Let's get, get some. some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. Okay, here we are in Photoshop, and we have two primary scenes. The first scene is what you see here. This represents a video capture of Lamar in front of a media source, which is this tropical video that loops, and a transparent Ping 24. That's an image source. And he just it just talks up everybody who's coming in, and they all have fun and get ready and psyched for the fitness program, which looks like this. And you can instantly begin to see all the similarities uh, between the two, right? We've got a background image, we've got a bottom and top part here with the same amount of text in each one. And it, we also have this square, right? Showing Lamar talking in front of this graphic. Well, if you added everything into one nested scene and you moved the, the this graphic here, this square showing Lamar, what would happen is the entire background and everything would squash up to the upper right-hand corner and would look super funky. So what you need to do is actually create two nested scenes, one containing the, the frame here with the tropical background, and the other one will contain the background image and the top and bottom piece. That's it. I'll show more about this as we build it. Okay, so here we are in OBS Studio. I just finished creating the two scenes, and here we are in the intro scene, and as you can see in the sources, we have a nested Lamar scene and a nested background scene. Let's take a look at those two nested scenes. Here's the Lamar scene. As you can see, it's a full frame with my video capture and the media source in there. And the other one, of course, is the background. And by separating those nested scenes, what I can do now is I can turn on the scene transition containing a move transition here. And now when I go from one scene to the next, I've got that nice motion. Isn't that nice? And if I didn't have it set up this way, if I had it set up as a single nested scene, the entire background would be moving to that upper corner. So I think that's making more sense now as to why I now have two and not one nested scene. Okay, let's move on to the next step, which is to set up individual scenes representing each drill in the category of cardio for Lamar Fitness. Let's go. Okay, I just completed the high knees drill. Let's, let me show you what's inside here real quick. We have the background nested scene, which contains the scrolling text at the bottom and the gym photo here. We've got Lamar's frame in the upper right-hand corner. We have a category frame that shows up on the left. It's just a JPEG with a black background and the logo. And then inside of this, we're going to have a transparent ping 24 that represents the category, which currently is cardio. And each one of these drills will be their own scene, okay? The reason why this is going to be transparent is because we're going to have a designator show up behind it. It looks like this. So when you move from the high knees scene and move into the mountain climber scene, the move transition is going to gracefully move the designator down to the mountain climber so that from the viewer's perspective, they will know where they are at every given moment of the exercise program. Okay, the next one is the counter, and we're going to review this because different things happen during different time periods. Currently, it's in the start mode, then it goes into the 30-second countdown, and then there's a 15-second rest period, and different things happen. Like, during the rest period, we're going to set it up so that the high knees media source pauses with a hotkey, and then, when, also when it's in rest period, there will be a rest media source that loops until the rest period is done. And again, that's all controlled with hotkeys and we will dive into that in one second. So all the Move Transition plugin does is it takes a look at the scene that you're in and compares it to the scene that you're going to arrive to. And it says, oh, look at that. There is a source that's in both, but in the scene that you're going to, it's in a different position and the Move Transition calculates an animation for that source. It's really pretty cut and dry. That's why in the high knees 
seen, I have a copy of the mountain climber animation because when we click the mountain climber animation, the mountain climber will be in view and the high knee animation, which is right here, will be out of view. So the absolute easiest way to handle this is to right click on the high knees drill, select duplicate, which makes a full copy of everything. Go back in, rename it to the mountain climber drill because that's the next drill in the fitness category display here, right? Number two and adjust the position of the necessary sources. So we're gonna move the designator down to mountain climbers and we're gonna switch out the high knees animation with the mountain climber animation. Here's how it looks, boom. When making the prisoner jacks scene, you need to add the prisoner jack animation out of view in the mountain climber scene, okay? That way when you go into the prisoner jack scene, prisoner jack animation replaces the mountain climber animation. So every time you go into the next scene, you have to be cognizant of what needs to be there out of view when you transition into the next scene. That's very important. Now we're going to explore the power of hotkeys and what happens during the timer when it reaches the rest disposition. Oh, this is gonna get good. What you see here is a graphic representation of the countdown timer for the cardio category. The timer has a five second pre-counter, then it goes right into the 30 second exercise timer, and then we have a 15 second rest period. So what we're gonna do is assign the hotkey to pause the exercise animation when we're in rest and while we're in the pre-counter. Let me show you what I'm talking about, here we go. Thankfully, the rest animation can be used for every single exercise scene because Every exercise scene has a rest period, thankfully. That means we're gonna create a nested scene using that animation. I've already created it, check it out, it's right here. And if I turn it on with a hotkey, there it is, I've got a hotkey, I just hit Shift Z to turn it on and Shift X to turn it off. If I go back into the high knees drill here, I've already had that scene nested in here, so I can turn it on and turn it off whenever that timer goes red. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set that up real quick. So if we go into the settings now and select hotkeys, I've never been a huge fan of how they have this set up. I think it's very confusing, but you have to scroll down and look for the scene called nested rest. There it is right there. And I added shift Z and shift X to show and hide that graphic, cut and dry. So once that's set up and you hit apply and okay, all you have to do is nest that scene which is called nested rest inside of any one of the exercise scenes. So here you can see the nested rest is nested inside of high knees drill. Cake. Now pausing the animations showing the exercise is a little bit more tedious because you can't use nested scenes because every scene has its own individual media source. So here we are in the high knees and we're gonna pause this video. I'll go into settings, hotkeys, and I'll scroll all the way down to the sources where the sources start here, and I'll look for the video, VID, that's what that means, high knees, and I'll pause it with a shift backslash, and I'll play it with a shift period, and hit apply, and okay. So when I hit shift backslash, it freezes. And when you wanna hit it, make it play, you hit the period. Okay, I'm back in the hotkeys parameters. I just wanna let you know that you should add the very same hotkeys for every exercise media source, right? So that you don't get confused. If you're not super great or super psyched about using hotkeys attached to your keyboard, you could definitely do the same thing with a Stream Deck or you can use Lyorn Board which provides a graphic interface that you can click on screen. I'll have a video about that at the end of the video. You can click and learn about that if you wish. Now the question is, what do you do now when you get to the last drill in the cardio category? Because when you move to the next category, stuff has to happen. So let me show you. Let's pretend we're at the squat jumps and I click the core burpee exercise. Now the text moves out of view and the core text moves in and the designator moves up to the burpee and you would then see the animation showing the burpee exercise. So you have to always be thinking what's coming into view and if something's coming into view, it must be out of view in the previous scene. Okay, just remember that, super important. I'd like to personally thank Lamar at Lamar Fitness for entrusting the Scott Victor YouTube channel in helping him with his OBS live stream application. If you need some help with OBS Studio, go to the scottvictor.com website, click OBS help in the navigation. It'll take you to a form, fill it out. It's not a long form. It'll send an email to me and I'll be in contact with you to figure out a solution for your problem.
If you'd like to learn about Lyoran Board, you can click this link right here. It explains everything that you need to know to use it. It's like a graphic interface that you can click to do all the hotkey stuff for you. And here is a video that will show you how to use the Move Transition plug. And there's a lot of parameters that you can set and change to make the sources move the way you want. Best wishes to you. I will catch you on the flip side. Stay strong and keep fighting. Yeah.